Today in Draw My Life, Enough is Enough, the lost episode of The Loud House. We know that you love lost episodes and more if they're from The Loud family. That's why today we'll tell you the story of perhaps one of the most chilling lost episodes that have been found on The Loud House. So if you haven't done it yet, subscribe so that you can shit, I mean pee, yourself to death with all of our videos. The episode begins in an unusual way introducing the characters of the Loud family. However, none of them sit on the couch to watch TV as they usually do at the end of the intro. But you start to realize that something strange is happening when at the beginning the logo appears painted red instead of its usual orange color. So you know, already something is off. When the title of the episode, Enough is Enough, appeared, darkness overshadowed the screen and the background music began to sound trite, like a horror movie. Lincoln quietly watched TV in his living room, when suddenly he began to talk to the viewer. Don't you hate living with ten sisters? Well, sometimes I hate them. On rare occasions, I go a little too far. I wish they'd leave me alone, but I can hurt them. They're my sisters. I want to love them, but the things they do are a constant setback for me. A serious Lincoln shut it up and went back to watching TV as if nothing happened. At that moment, Luang leaned into the room and said, What did the platypus say before leaving the bar? Put it on my bill! <laughs> Lincoln frowned as she continued to laugh. Luang continued making jokes and said, Do you want to smell my flower? But before Lincoln answered, Luang had already sprayed his face with water. Lincoln, do you want some of my banana cream pie? Okay, Luan, that's in. But at that moment, Luan slammed the pie she was holding in his face. Poor Lincoln, visibly upset, asked his sister to stop the jokes because they weren't funny anymore. But Luan insisted. Enough is enough! And took her furiously by the shoulders. Luan, with a smile, replied, Wow, nice grip, bro. Nice shoulder workout at the gym. Luan laughed at her little joke. Lincoln didn't find this funny at all. And with his mind clouded with fury, he hit Luan's head against the wall, hurting her and knocking her unconscious. Lincoln gasped and stared at the crack in Luan's head, and then her unconscious bruised body. He looked at his hands in fear. What have I done? I've never done something like this before. He looked back at Luan, but this made me feel so alive. For some reason, I never felt so good in a long time. I know exactly what to do. Lincoln had just started hunting. Lori was his second victim. He killed her by hitting her with his cell phone on the head for refusing to take him to a comic book store. This is for smashing my VR console, teenage brat! He said as he hit Lori's lifeless body. Then he went to Lynn. Seeing her lean into his room, Lynn said, Hey, Lincoln, want to wrestle? To which he replied, Sure, why not, Lynn? I'll bet I'll win this time. The siblings began to fight each other, and what at first seemed like a harmless fight turned into the last minutes of Lynn's life. Lincoln took advantage of the maneuver and began to choke Lynn from behind. After suffocating her, Lincoln sat next to Lynn's dying body. While stroking her head, he said with a creepy face, Slit tight, Lynn. Now you're free. There were still sisters to be murdered. Lenny was stabbed with scissors, Lola with a bat. Lunan had her face matched with a guitar. Lily was suffocated with a toy, and Lucy was set on fire. Suddenly, the screen faded to black and Lincoln appeared sitting in his room with the bodies of his sisters underneath his bed. He was disoriented, somewhat possessed. My job is done. All I need is one more, but who is it? A sudden fade to black appeared again, and when the camera focused again, Lincoln was hanging from the ceiling over his bed. After a few seconds, Luan regained consciousness and slowly crawled out from under her brother's bed. When she sees the scene, she's petrified and says, This is no joke. She tries to call her parents, but no one answers. Traumatized by what she had witnessed, she took a needle that she found on the ground and stabbed it in her eyes. With the other hand, she took a pair of scissors and did the same but on her stomach. Now, they would all be together. Have you heard about this episode? 
For us, it's definitely the creepiest of them all. Leave us in the comments what other lost episodes you would like to see. And remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Until the next video.